Hello viewers and listeners of Tech Point Zone. Today's video is about the prepaid meter TID rollover. I'm sure you must have been hearing about this TID rollover because uh, many of the distribution companies in Nigeria have been informing their customers to carry out these, I think, maybe ongoing TID rollover for which different cut of dates have been set by different energy distribution companies. So I think for Ekedia Electric, it's supposed to be November 1st, which is today. So all prepaid energy meters, which accept uh, 20 digits energy token, should very likely be STS uh, compliant. And uh, if yours was installed, say sometime after 2014, then we should also be able to do the TID rollover. Yeah. So what is this TID rollover? So that TID actually means token identifier. So this TID is, or this token identifier is the cryptographic feature that the prepaid meter uses to identify every energy token that you load into that prepaid meter. So the cryptographic key for all of those energy tokens that I have loaded is stored through this identifier in that prepaid meter. So if you come back sometime later and try to reuse an already loaded energy token, it is this TID that will tell you that no, this had already been used. So what does this mean? It simply means if you don't upgrade as instructed by your energy distribution company before the already set cutoff date for some and maybe some other ones yet to be set, you will not uh, be able to load any newly bought energy token, especially if your energy distribution company has already upgraded their own vending system and also the hardware security module. So this is telling you that we are not alone in this. As we are being asked to upgrade our cryptographic key, the energy distribution companies to also have to upgrade their vending system so that they can come up with the same cryptographic keys that will be used by the prepaid meter. So if you are on the if you do not do the TID rollover and you purchase energy token from an upgraded vending system, you will not be able to use it until you do the upgrade, which is what is simply referred to as the TID rollover. Now, there's one key uh, uh, information you have to note here, and that is the fact that if you are the type that normally buys energy tokens to be used later on, meaning if you buy the token, print it out, or get it through SMS, and you keep it for a later use, please ensure that you load all such energy tokens on your prepaid meter before you go ahead and carry out the TID rollover. Reason being that if you don't load them and you carry out the TID rollover, you may never be able to load them again. And from the information out there, especially from um, sts.org, you will not be able to load those energy tokens again. And the last key note also for you to note is that when you are carrying out your TID rollover process, your energy balance is not going to be affected. So what that means is if you had maybe 200 units as balance before the TID rollover, by the time you carry out the TID rollover, you should still have your 200 units. So long 
you have not used it during that process i don't know if you get what i mean if you have powerful loads running on your prepaid meter and you are doing this tear drill over of course you see a slight change within that short time but if it's just maybe little little energy then it won't be you no know, noticeable so i hope this helps if it does please like share subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you can be one of the first to know by the time we release our next video thank you bye for now